Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Tuesday, May 5th. Uh, Dow ended slightly red today, although given the size of the move we had yesterday, uh, not really a surprise. Actually, we're pretty strong today. If we look at the 15-minute chart, uh, after the move yesterday, the Dow has been able to hold above the bearish rising wedge uh, resistance. So not too bad. I mean, there's been really strong uh, buying in this market volume. Up a little bit today, but uh, nothing to write home about. But still, you know, the fact that they weren't able to slap this market down uh, is a testament to its strength. We do have the stress test BS coming on Thursday. No new news coming. Uh, of course, banks are going to need no money or more money. That's not a surprise. So it'll be interesting to see how the uh, bears and shorts spin that. The daily chart, again, uh, candle not that great today. But as long as we hold above 8K with the 20-day exponential at 8.062, nothing really to be worried. We're going to maintain our uh, bullish stance. As long as we remain above that level, indicators starting to get into overbought territory, but doesn't mean we need to run for the hills yet, perhaps raise some cash. But, you know, essentially we're just rotating in and out of plays. And as long as the Dow remains above 8K, we're going to continue to do that. But let's jump into some new plays. Here we have EEE. Uh, this was a huge winner for us back in uh, January and February. We tagged this one in the 30s and it ran 500%. It's retraced over the last month. We've got a nice breakout from a symmetrical triangle today. Uh, RSI is breaking up through 50. Volume is there. Uh, all the indicators look pretty good here. These guys report their earnings on Friday morning, but the play here is they're going to be also announcing, you know, or putting a focus on their green technologies, and the green stocks were on fire today. So would look for this one to get uh, traders buying in anticipation of possible news Friday morning. Target is a move to a dollar forty-three here. What stops uh, at the fifty-day or at a dollar five or a dollar? A dollar would be probably my uh, drop-dead stop on this one. OPMR. This is our uh, poker play. Sent out alert today that uh, Barney Frank is announcing his bill tomorrow, and this one and WPTE, which we're also in, took off. Really, really bullish candlestick on this one today. We should see some nice follow through on this one. Our first target is 80 cents here. All the indicators look really good. We've got some nice volume on this one, and it should continue tomorrow. STEM, a big volume spike on this one today. It got as high as a dollar 94 before pulling back. We entered a scalp at a dollar 80. It did retrace afterwards, but uh, this stock has been trying to break out for some time now, so. You know, not that concerned about it. And chart looks really, really good. The stemmers look ready to bust out big time. And first target here is a $2. And support, uh, let's stick our stops at the 50-day moving average. That's at $1.64. I know it's a little bit of rope, but as long as this market continues to run, you know, our stocks have not been making new lows. And until they do, we're going to continue to ride them higher. On that same note, ASTM, a big volume spike on this one today, finally broke and closed above its 200-day moving average. Again, these stem style stocks really run to run. First target on this one is 50 cents, so we're going to continue to be patient on this one. ZHNE, this was our golden cross play. Uh, eased back a little bit today, but not that uh, much of a surprise. Breakout is really a move over 31, so... You know, don't feel bad if you need to uh, book some profits on these plays that move higher. But uh, once we break this 31 cent resistance, it should be a pretty fast move to the 40s. Sirius, S-I-R-I. -I. We sent out an alert yesterday and mentioned in the Sunday uh, video that this one was getting ready for another one of its big moves. And lo and behold, today, boom, uh, stock ended the day at 47 cents. And if we follow the path that we've seen Many, many times this year, we should see at least a new high on this one in the next couple of days. So we'll be looking for a move above 63 cents. But this chart looks fantastic here right now. Stochastic's nicely oversold and the fuel for the move that is begun. AEHR, uh, semiconductor play. It's been trying to break out over the last couple of days. Uh, very thin stock low volume so this is a very small play but when this one goes our target is a move to a dollar 30 plus in the near term quick mention on gtcb continues to tread water uh, a close over 45 cents will be the breakout trigger on this one so continue to you know 
monitor this one for a breakout in the near term. Same thing for DSCO. Continues to try and break out, and every day right at the close, someone comes in and slaps it down. This is not uncommon for tanker biotech stocks. Nothing but good news on these guys. What will probably set this one free is when we get a positive MACD cross, which will likely happen in the next couple of days. Uh, Stochastics nicely oversold. That This move up through 20 will probably coincide with a positive MACD cross. And then a move to $1.20 is what we're looking for in this one. We're not asking for much. NXXI, uh, we mentioned this one yesterday, closed right at its 200-day moving average today. Actually, it closed above it, at, you know, two-tenths of a cent above it. Uh, once we break this 25 cents, target is at least a move to 35 cents. There's not many of these 20-cent stocks left. And uh, volumes over the last couple of days has been very high on this one, which suggests a move is coming in the near term. Quick mention on FNM. I sent out an alert on this one late yesterday, actually after the close. Uh, with the AIG spike, uh, FRE and FMM, their charts uh, look like they have the last couple of times we've snagged big moves off them. Very nice action again on this one. Target is uh, 95 to a dollar is our scalp target. And if uh, it follows the previous trend, we should see that tomorrow or Thursday. That is it for the video tonight. Again, you know, the market continues to ride the 20-day exponential higher. As long as we uh, remain above 8K, we can maintain our bullish stance. But continue to rotate in and out of stocks, uh, winning plays. Don't, you know, be afraid to book partial gains. Partial gains add up to big gains. So be sure you're booking those gains on the monster winners we have. And uh, that's it for the video tonight. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.